Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. This video I'm going to look at this Digital Life USB to MIDI cable. It's USB one end, MIDI in and out on the other. I'm going to see how well it works with something like Cubase and can I control my synths, some of the newer ones but some of the more vintage ones like the MRTX7 which are a bit more fickle on uh, the MIDI devices. So what I'm going to do is plug this into my machines and we'll give it a test. So here's the cable. So I'm going to look at the length of it. I should say it costs 16 quid as well, this on Amazon. Plenty of length on the cable, which is good because I'm going to be reaching this over there from PC down here. So I'm going to connect this up now. Before I plug it in, I should just tell what it, what it feels like. It's well made. It doesn't feel flimsy or anything like that. And then you've got the metal ends here on the, uh, on the connector on the MIDI side. And... Yeah, nice, nice and solid, well made. There's no visual indicator. I've got another cable which has got an L LEDs on it, so that MIDI transmission and receive, which is quite handy sometimes because you know if something's not working, you can see that it's working from the PC side. But anyway, well, let's get this connected up. Okay, so I've got a lot of cables down here at the moment, but I've got this MIDI hub, so I've got um, it's a USB hub, so I should have a spare port on that, which I do. So let's get that plugged in. So here in Cubase I've just added a track and I can go in there and you can see there I've got my USB MIDI interface. So that's the, the one I was talking about, it's got lights on it so I've got my synths on here. But this is the new one so I'll plug that as the input and I can also set that as the output as well. So it's connected up to my um, called Karma workstation so if I uh, hit record You can see no on information coming through there, and uh, it's probably receiving after touch as well. You can, uh, yes, it is. It's receiving after touch and so on. So you can see I've not had to do anything to to get that to work, and of course that will play back on that uh, interface back on the the Korg workstation. So um, that all works fine. Now what I'm going to do now is just try it with something a bit older. I'm going to connect it up to a Yamaha TX7 and see if I can sound, send some SysX because that's probably uh, pushing the extremes of what you can do with MIDI on old devices so it's probably a good test. So I've got the TX7 plugged in there so I'm going to use an application called DX Manager um, so let me fire that up. So for the MIDI devices I'm going to pick the new MIDI inputs there in and out and it should be able to read those for me there we go so these are the bank that's currently in the in the TX in the TX7 so these are my my sounds I've got in the TX7 and I could open another bank Transmit that, go to Bell, and let's just take the camera over. You can see that on the display of the TX7, I've got the Bell. And that's it. It, <laughs> it. It's working, and it's sending those across. Now, what I could do with this is a MIDI through so that I can play it while I'm doing these these changes. But th there is a way of doing that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to stick with this and, uh, and, and show it use as a MIDI interface. So, in fact, perhaps what if I do if I quit this now so I'm just gonna add a MIDI track I'll put the input as the mini load keyboard and the output as the USB interface and we should there we go that's the TX7 I can hear now not, not the mini load so I'm using the mini load as the controller it's actually the TX7 that's making the sound. Change that. And that's me doing it on here. So that is using the MIDI cable. 16 quid. It means that I can straight away connect this device up and I've got it uh, hooked up to, to synths, integrating my setup, and I can use it. 
even old kit like the TX7, and it'll work with obviously modern kit as well. So it's a great way of getting making a, a non uh, device that doesn't have USB MIDI or anything like that, bringing it into the into your PC or Mac, and uh, it just works. No drivers needed. 16 quid, pretty simple. So the only thing I would say is no visual indicators, so you, you, you've not got any clue what's happening. If, if something doesn't go wrong, it doesn't work, but for 16 quid, it just works straight out of the box. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on thedigitallifestyle.com.